Let's go. go. Turn up the volume. The volume. From the basement of the Empire State. This is the Basement Surge. Three, two, two. Welcome back to the basement surge, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me this week. Uh, I'm solo this week. Uh, it, this hasn't happened in, in, a, in a long time. Uh, I, I've had guests on for, I want to say, the good past like couple months. I've had a fresh uh, guest on every episode. But uh, this week, I, I'm, I'm by myself. I'm alone. I feel a little vulnerable. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, it, it just happened this way this week. Uh, I couldn't book anybody, but this is still going to be a great episode nonetheless. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. If you're watching us over on YouTube or if you're listening to us over on a podcast listening app, do me a favor, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, uh, ring the bell, hit the plus button, hit whatever button you got to hit to make sure you get notified of fresh episodes of the basement surge. <sighs> All right. So, uh, in this episode, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the future of surge, what I envision it to be and what my top guest list is, uh, my top 10 of guests that I would love to get on the surge. I'm excited for this episode. Okay. Because it's just me. Like I, I, I can't believe it. There you go. The music. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. So, uh, for the, I want to say, uh, man, for the past two months, uh, I've had some guests on the show that really bring value, you know, that really bring knowledge, uh, to you guys, to the audience. First of all, uh, if you guys hear a little like humming or buzzing or wind behind me, that's this fan behind me. Okay. It's like July and the middle of summer or well, the beginning of summer, but, um, I don't have air conditioning down here in, in the basement. Okay. I don't have central air. I don't have window AC. I don't even have a space AC. I, I have nothing. I have a fan. I have a fan that's behind me and I have a fan right here on the desk in front of me. That's not on because I, I don't want to make too much wind, uh, in the microphone, but still, you know, it's, uh, it's hot as hell in here. And, uh, you know, so I, I gotta keep, I gotta keep this fan on. Like, let's see. Can you guys hear it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't really care because it's hot as hell in here and I need wind. I need air and, uh, it is what it is. So I guess if you're listening on a podcast and you're, you're looking for that, clean sound of a podcast, you're not going to find it here. At least maybe, I don't know. Who knows after editing, after processing, you know, I may get rid of the sound who knows, but, uh, it's there for now. Um, all right. So, uh, I'm going to try to keep this short and simple. Okay. Because, uh, it's a solo episode. I don't want to take up too much of your time and, uh, and talk about things that you're not really interested in, but, um, but I, I really wanted to stop in and I, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to, uh, to let you guys know basically the future of surge, what we have going on and what my top 10 dream list of guests entails. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go one by one, uh, for my top 10 and, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about it by the end of it. You guys will understand why I want these top 10 people on my list, but I do have to start the show off by saying you guys haven't seen me in like a week or two because, uh, my wife, Heather did a basement takeover. Hello everybody. And welcome to the basement surge. You may noticed. I am not John. Sorry to disappoint you, but... Neither am I. Yes, we're not. He was getting a little too big, a little too popular. We had to like, you know, all right, enough. So we locked him. I locked him in the bathroom upstairs. So if you hear banging, it's okay. Don't worry about it. He's got water. He's got his phone. He'll be fine. 
<laughs> Quiet up there. So we are calling this the basement takeover. <laughs> The Basement Takeover. And I think this is going to be so much fun just to come in here and spice it up a little bit, change it up on the categories. We which was awesome, which was amazing. All right. She did a great job at doing the very first uh, Basement Takeover. And, uh, you know, if you don't know what a Basement Takeover is, hang out until later on in the episode. Uh, I'm going to tell you all about it and uh, give you guys some uh, some a little insight into what that's all about. Uh, things that, you know, people don't normally talk about. They don't talk about the 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 well-known conspiracies like the moon landing, the JFK assassination, you know, stuff like that. They, they, they talked about like the Titanic and gay frogs. And, you know, so it, it's just there is so much. They spoke about awesome topics during that episode that uh, you guys, after you watch this, head back and uh, and give that one a watch. But um, but she did great, you know, and uh, the basement takeover, you know, I think is going to happen like once a month. I'm going to take a little break, you know, throw my hands back and just relax for the week and uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, just, uh, chill out, you know, and take it easy. And, and, uh, you know, but, uh, the basement takeover was such a great idea. She did amazing. And, uh, I can't wait until she does it again. But, uh, but the reason why you guys haven't seen me in like two weeks is not only because of the basement takeover, but because of what I said the last time you guys had seen me. The last time uh, I did an episode of Basement Surge was the episode with Paul Cubby Bryant. The wait is over. It's over. WHCC, Newark, New York City. Hey, this is Justin Bieber. This is Gwen Stefani. Hi, this is Madonna. What's up, you guys? It's Nicki Minaj. Is it too late now to say sorry? Baby, don't, baby, don't, baby, don't lie. I don't want to cry no longer. From the top of the Empire State Building. From the basement of the Empire State Building. Is the basement surge. Everybody, please welcome this week's special guest. He's got 35 plus years in the radio industry. He's currently running the Cubby and Christine Morning Show over on 106.7 Light FM. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Cubby Bryant. And I wasn't joking at the end of the episode where I was like, all right, well, where do I go from here? You know, what do I do? Because that Cubby interview was so big to me. You know, I was like, all right, I need a break. I need to chill out. I need to relax. I need to regroup. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I need to try to get more people like him on the show, you know, more, um, people that who are influential in their field. So I, I think like one of the goals of Surge is going to be like, because everybody who's ever watched or listened to uh, the Basement Surge has always known that we have always spoken about things that I find interesting. Okay. Things that I'm interested in, things that I do, hobbies that I like, you know, uh, background of how I grew up here in Brooklyn, you know, and uh yeah, I, I think I'm starting to change the direction of Surge a little bit in the sense that I'm going to be talking more about the topics that I like, which is which isn't anything out of the ordinary. But out of those topics, I'm going to have people of influence out of those topics. I'm going to have people who are actually in that field. Okay. Like I love radio. So I had Paul Cubby Bryan come on. Okay. Tomorrow, uh, I'm sitting down with his producer, Jamie in the near future. I would love to sit down with Christine Nagy, uh, Cubby's co-host on Cubby and Christine in the morning over on 106.7 light FM. And I would love to sit down with her and pick her brain about the radio industry, about her career, about, you know, just 
things in general about radio and, and and that's the kind of stuff that I would want to bring to Surge. Okay. Like I'm interested in so many different things. I'm interested in radio. I'm interested in uh, camping and outdoor stuff and woodworking and art and painting and music and podcasting. I mean, I've got, I've had guys on here who have, who are professionals in the field, like Larry Roberts. Okay. Larry Roberts was on the show a couple of weeks ago and he dropped some knowledge about branding, about marketing, you know, about, you know, like it, it was just such a good show that, you know, that I, I just want to keep creating those kind of shows that bring value to you guys and not just sit around with two talking heads, you know, and, uh, and just talk about their day, talk about their week, talk about, Hey, you know, what are you watching on Netflix this week? No, no, not none of that. Okay. Like I want to get people on the show that actually bring value to not only the basement surge, but to you, the audience, you know? So those are the kind of things that I want to do for here on surge. But before we get into the future of surge, okay. I want to talk about my top 10 list. Now I'm, I'm pretty excited about this because I, like, I think a majority of these people on this list are people that I can actually get on the show and, uh, people who are actually willing <laughs> to do interviews and willing to, to go on uh, small time podcasts, you know? So these are the, these are the top 10 that I would like to get on the show. So here is my top 10 list of guests for the basement surge. Okay. So starting at number 10, uh, these are in no specific order of importance. Okay. Like I'm not like, I'm not trying to say, Oh, I want this person first or second or third, you know, like, no. Okay. I, I will literally take anybody on this list at any point, any time, no matter the ranking. So ranking doesn't matter on this list. So, uh, the first one I'm going to start off with today is Richard Marks. Okay. So Richard Marks was huge back when I was growing up. Okay. He, he still is like, he's, he's a fabulous artist, uh, musician, songwriter. And, you know, I would just love the chance to sit down and talk to him about his career. I really would. Okay. He has so many ties to Lionel Richie and Luther Vandross. And like, I, I, like, I would just, I would just die if I had the chance to sit down and talk with him. <laughs> Number two is Ed Sheeran. Like the next guy on my list is Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran just came out with a fresh new album. Okay. And, uh, and I, I'd love to talk to him about that. I'd love to talk to him about creating his albums. I'd love to talk to him about, uh, basically getting through his court case and, and, and how he emerged from that, uh, stronger than he did before with, uh, the release of his new album and touring and doing live shows. And it's just uh, Ed. You know, Ed Sheeran is doing an amazing job, you know, and he's just a fabulous musician. I, I'd love the chance to get to talk to him. Number three on my list is Ryan Reynolds. Believe it or not, uh, an actor from the Marvel Universe, okay? Because um, anybody who knows me knows that I'm a DC guy. I'm a Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman kind of guy all the way, you know? And uh, Ryan Reynolds, I think, would be an amazing guest on the show. You know, because I love his sense of humor. I love the movies that he's putting out, first of all. All right. Like, I love Deadpool. Uh, you know, like, I, I love that whole franchise and what he's doing. He's currently doing one with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine back in the yellow suit. Of course, like Wolverine in the yellow suit is amazing. Okay. Because that's, that's exactly what all the fans wanted since the beginning. Right. Okay. So. You know, he's, uh, he, he's kicking ass in the movies, you know, he's making awesome movies, uh, with Hugh Jackman, uh, as Wolverine and Deadpool. And, uh, you know, I just love to talk to him about his career, about, uh, philanthropy, about what he's got going on off screen. And, uh, you know, it's, he just seems like a really cool dude and Hey, you know, I like cool people. I'm just here to have a good time. So Brian, if you're listening, let's do it. Uh, all right. So next person on my list is Jerry Seinfeld. Okay. Because I'm a, I'm a kid of the nineties. I'm a kid of the eighties. You know, I love Jerry. Je I grew up watching Jerry on TV. Okay. I watch. I grew up watching Seinfeld on channel 11 
and uh, and I loved every minute of it. Okay, and when Netflix and Hulu and all all those subscription services came out, like when once I seen Seinfeld on there, I made sure that I spent the weeks dedicated to going through each and every episode until the end. Okay, because. I felt that maybe I had missed episodes, you know, like when I was a kid, you, you know, I like, you know, it's sporadically you turn on the TV and an episode of Seinfeld to be on. But for me, you know, I wanted to go back and I wanted to watch every single episode. Like I loved the, the, the type of comedy. I loved the comedy. I loved the characters. I loved the cast. Um, it's just, it's just an amazing show. And I would love to talk to him about it. not only uh, Seinfeld, not only the TV show, but also about his stand up and where he got started and, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, Jerry, if you're listening, let's go. Let's do it. We could do it. We could do it together. Come to the surge. Come to the basement. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Uh, next person on my list is Chip Gaines. All right. So, um, I think really the only one who knows about this one is my wife. She uh, she turned me on to Chip Gaines, uh, really Joanna Gaines, and uh, and I found Chip through association. But um, but Chip, you know, I started reading his book, uh, No Pain No Gains, and uh, and I love what he's got to say. His books are so informative, okay, and they help they helped get to guide me really in the right direction of business of where I want Surge to go or, you know, the basement studio, you know, here to, uh, where I want it to go, you know, and, uh, and it, it taught me about networking It taught me about blue chips. Okay. So, you know, anybody who knows something about a particular brand or a particular topic or something to do with an industry. Okay. And I know you, and we're good friends and we're on like a, we have a good relationship. All right. Like I consider you a blue chip, Paul Cubby, Brian, I consider you a blue chip because I would love to work together. I would love to help you out just as much as I know that you have helped me out. Okay. So that's what a blue chip is about. A blue chip is somebody in your network that can bring you value, but you also bring them almost an equal amount of value. Okay. So I would love to do that with chip. I'd love to do that with cubby. I'd love to do that with Joanna Gaines, you know, so chip Gaines is definitely on my list of get top guests to have here on the basement surge. Okay. So next on my list is Michael J. Fox. Okay. So Michael J. Fox is on my list because anybody who f has followed surge for any amount of time, uh, especially since really the beginning, um, knows that the basement surge, we have partnered with the Michael J. Fox foundation for Parkinson's research, right? We've done fundraisers. We've raised money for the foundation and, uh, every summer we do what's called the mission here in the basement. And, uh, which is basically rollerblading all around Brooklyn for eight miles, uh, to raise money. And we live stream the whole event, you know? So, uh, it, it's, it's really a great thing. Uh, and, uh, we're, we're thinking about doing it again this summer, but, um, but we've partnered with the Michael J Fox foundation for Parkinson's research. And, uh, we have a fundraiser up on their website. We are partnered with them. So the link for that is down below. And uh, you could join Team Surge in the fight against Parkinson's and finding a cure. But I would love to speak to Michael J. Fox uh, if it's possible, okay? Because I know how hard it is because the reason why we're associated with the foundation is because my grandfather had Parkinson's and I know firsthand what it does to your body. I know firsthand what it does to your soul, you know, and, um, and I, I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. And I was my grandfather's caretaker for years. And, uh, you know, so when I had the opportunity to join up with the foundation, I took it, you know, and we partnered with them and it's been such a huge part of surge. 
since really the beginning. So, uh, Michael J. Fox, I would love to have you on the show to talk about not only the foundation, but to talk about your career, talk about, you know, life before acting, uh, you know, working TV shows and movies at the same time, you know, like the, these are all things that I would love to talk to him about. And, uh, that's why I picked Michael J. Fox. The next person on my list is Delilah. Okay. So Delilah is a DJ from 106.7 light FM. And for years now, like I can't even tell you, it feels like my whole life. <laughs> it really does. Okay. Like I have listened to Delilah at nighttime, uh, when I'm down here in the studio by myself working on the podcast, or if I'm painting or drawing or just like if, if I'm down here trying to relax and just listen to the radio, like Delilah is what I'm listening to. Okay. Because Delilah, first of all, has a great soothing voice, right? Okay. So she's got this voice that just relaxes you and calms you. And then during her show, she talks about heartbreak, about finding new love. She, she talks about relationships and, uh, not only with a significant other, but with your children, you know, and she takes dedications and like, th these are all things that I love listening to. And, and most of the time it, it like, it makes me smile, you know, and I love, I have loved listening to Delilah for years now. And I would have loved to get the chance to talk to her and bring her on to the basement surge and talk about her career, talk about her life and things like that. So Delilah, if you're watching or listening, or if I clip this and turn this into a clip for Instagram or YouTube, uh, and you see this, please do me a favor, check your inbox on Instagram. I have already messaged you. Uh, I'm seriously very interested in sitting down and talking to you. Okay. So, uh, the last two people I have on my list, okay. Is what one of them is an actor and one of them is a hunter. Okay. Because yes, I have to admit the basement surge is random. The basement surge is basically all over the place as far as topics go. Right. I talk about art. I talk about music. I talk about podcasting. I talk about, uh, video games and movies and all this stuff. Right. And, uh, basically whatever interests me. So the next person on my list is Steven Ranella of meat eater. Okay. Because I would love to sit down and talk to him about his hunting adventures. Okay. Because this guy, this guy literally travels the world. Okay. Living off the land and surviving nature. And I, I would love to pick his brain about that. I would love to pick his brain about how like it, roughing it in the wilderness. Like how do you build a shelter? You know, how do you get food? You know, stuff like that. You know, he does a show on Netflix called meat eater where he hunts animals, you know, and then basically cooks them up and eat, eats them. But Okay. It's, it's a lot more than that. He also gives you good tips on how to cook it. It's almost like half hunting, half cooking show, <laughs> you know? And, but I, I, his premise, his idea for, for the meat eater show is to educate and to bring awareness to the masses about not only the right way to hunt, but also the right way to cook it, that it tastes as good as it does. So for those reasons, I would love to sit down with Steven Ranella. So the last person I have on my list is Stanley Tucci. Okay. So Stanley, if you're watching this, like I've already emailed you, there's no answer. Like I would love to hear back from you. Okay. Because I really need to sit down with you and talk to you about your travels around Italy. Okay. Stanley Tucci is an actor. Uh, he's, he's been in various movies, uh, TV shows, you know, stuff like that. But what I really want to talk to him about is his most recent TV show, his most recent show that he's doing the series where you're traveling around Italy. 
and sampling food and learning about the culture. Like I really, really want to talk to you about that because my grandfather, he's from Calabria. Okay. And, uh, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Where Italian food is huge here. Of course, as you probably know. Okay. We have a store here right around the corner that uh sells authentic italian food like fresh mozzarella and pasta pasta you know just anything you can name this place has it that's supposed to be authentic italian um so i want to pick your brain about what authentic italian really means and what it was like traveling all across italy and tasting all those amazing foods because i gotta tell you what when I watch this show, it just makes me hungry. <laughs> it really does. All right. So now that you guys have heard my top list of guests that I would like to get for the show right now. Okay. Uh, Richard Marks, Ed Sheeran, Ryan Reynolds, Jerry Seinfeld, Chip Gaines, Michael J. Fox, Delilah, Steven Rinella, and Stanley Tucci. Okay. So if any of you hear this, do me a favor, reach out to the search, reach out to me and, uh, and we'll make this happen. You know, I, I can almost guarantee that we're going to have a great time. We're going to have a great episode. And, uh, and I, I would just love to hear what you guys have to say. Seriously. Let's do it now. Let's talk some serious business. Let's talk about the future of search. Let's see. As you guys know, we've already started the basement takeover episodes. Okay. Which is basically the first episode you guys got was my wife and chicken from big buck and empire taking over the basement surge and doing an episode of their own. Okay. So that's kind of what the basement takeovers are about. I've spoken with my wife, of course, because you know, that's where I get my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and I and we came up with this idea of the basement takeover where we would offer other podcasters who might be watching right now take over the basement surge. Okay, there's a whole article about this over on the official website uh where I explain exactly what a basement takeover is. And the basement takeover is basically another show taking over the basement surge, right? So you would do an episode that you would normally do. And the only difference is, is that it would be with basement surge branding. So your logo and your show would still have a presence, right? Uh, it would, you would still have all of your links down in the show notes. You, we would still show your logo up on the screen, but it would be with basement surge branding. And, uh, and I, I think it's great because a, a lot of when I first started podcasting, right. Um, everybody, cause I was asking, I was like, how do you get the, the word out on your search on, how do you get the word out on your surge? How do you get the word out on your show? Uh, you know, how do you promote, how do you, you know, get more listeners, grow your audience, you know, and everybody and their mother kept telling me you need to guest on other podcasts. So I was like, all right, so that's, you know, I do that now as it is. And, uh, you know, I'm on podcasts all over the place. You know, if you want me on your podcast, I'll come. Sure. Why not? You know, let's, let's hang out. Let's have a good time. But I decided to take that one step further. So you come on my show, but you take over the whole show. I'm not even here. Okay. You do an episode of surge, but like your show. <laughs> That's the whole premise of the ba of the basement takeover. And, uh, and we've already got like a whole bunch of, of other podcasts who are excited to take over the basement surge. Like I, I can't even tell you, like I have multiple people from all different podcasts, all different genres, all different topics, you know, just ready to take over surge and, uh, and create their own basement surge episodes. Another thing we're working on is the basement dads. Okay. This is another show that I'm doing with my friend, Brendan Roy from dads worldwide. Uh, we have joined forces basically to, to talk all things dad 
dad life, you know, barbecuing, bacon, kids, family, marriage, just anything to do with being a dad. Okay. Uh, we, we talk about on the show, we talk about religion, you know, sometimes we'll talk about politics, but majority of the time we're just talking about being a dad and how our week goes and what our kids are up to. You know, and uh, and if you can relate, that's awesome. Leave us comments, hit that subscribe button. But you know, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, Brendan and I always have a great time together. You know, so uh, so we decided to to join forces and uh, and create a new show, The Basement Dads. So another project that's near and dear to my heart is uh, something called Basement Cigars. Okay, so Basement Cigars is basically just an Instagram account, but it's where I share with you my favorite cigars because I, I'm a big cigar smoker. I love cigars. I love hanging out with a nice scotch and a cigar. Okay. So like if the weather's nice, I'm all about hanging out outside, smoking a cigar, drinking a scotch. And, uh, you know, I wanted to share it with you guys and, and create uh, an account somewhere that, you know, that we can talk about these things. And, and, and I thought that Instagram was the best platform for that. And, um, I didn't want to create a YouTube channel. I didn't want to create a podcast. Like I'm not looking to make another show. I'm not looking to, uh, you know, complicate things, you know, I just wanted to enjoy something and get it out there and interact with the audience, interact with everybody. And, uh, you know, basement cigars does that for me, you know? And, uh, if you love cigars, if, uh, you know, if you love scotch, if you love cigars, then head on over to basement cigars over on Instagram. Uh, it's part of the, uh, the basement family. Now, the newest venture that we got going on here in the basement, <clears throat> It's called the basement gamers. Okay. Now anybody who's known me for basically any amount of time knows that I like video. I like video games. I like gaming. I like sitting down, relaxing and playing a game. And, uh, whether that be on Xbox, on PC, on Nintendo 64 or regular Nintendo or NES, you know, like I, I don't care what it is. I, if I could sit down, relax and play some video games. I will. And, uh, and recently we just launched a new YouTube channel called the basement gamers, right? So my son loves playing video games. He loves playing Minecraft. He loves playing Fortnite. He loves playing Pokemon. So, you know, he, he's got all these different games that he likes playing and I play them with him. You know, he and I have sat down for hours and played Minecraft. Uh, you know, and he loves playing Fortnite. So I made a new channel called the basement gamers and he is very excited to be a part of it. So I think uh, upcoming, I think at least, uh, once a week, I'm going to be sitting down with him and doing an episode with him and playing games and spending time with my son. And, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. You know, it's gonna be awesome. And, uh, he's gonna love it. And then when I'm not playing with him, I'll be playing by myself. I'll be playing the sports games. I, I like to play MLB the show. I, I play a lot of horror games and, you know, like uh, seven days to die and, you know, just scary games. I, I love them, you know? So those are the kind of games that I'm going to be playing solo by myself. Seven days to die, MLB the show, Diablo four, you know, just like all the new games, all, the, all the games basically that are too adult for my seven year old son. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm going to be playing those on the basement gamers. I've spoken to you about the basement takeover. I've spoken to you about the basement dads. I've spoken to you about basement cigars and the basement gamers. Are you guys noticing a pattern? The basement, whatever the basement, something right. So if you follow the basement surge over on Instagram, you may have noticed the other day that I posted uh, a reel that teased a trailer for the basement studio.
So basically what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm what my wife calls building an empire. And the basement studio is going to be a company that encompasses all the basement properties, the basement surge, the basement dads, uh, the basement cigars, uh, basement gamers, you know, everything coming out of the basement is going to be under one umbrella. And, uh, and I'm super excited for it to, to, to come into fruition. To, for, I'm, I'm super excited for it to happen because for the longest time, I've had so many ideas on what to do on surge. You know, so I'm trying to organize things into platforms, kind of, right? And the Basement Studios will allow me to do that. The Basement Studios is basically going to encompass all of the Basement brands. And I'm going to be starting it on August 1st, okay? Which means a brand new website. Now, what, what does that mean? A brand new website for the basement studios. Now, now that means that the basement surge website, the basement gamers website, the basement dad's website is all going to be taken down. And everything that has to do with all of the basement properties is going to be on one website, one source. You can listen to the basement surge. You can listen to the basement dads. You can, you know, look at pictures from the basement cigars and, you know, watch a video from basement gamers all on one platform. And I'm super excited to launch it because it's everything that I I've wanted to do since the beginning. I have so many interests. I like doing so many things, but marketing one thing to a specific group or marketing multiple things to one specific group is, uh, is very challenging. So each platform is going to have its own audience and all those audiences are going to meet on one platform. I'm super excited. So stay tuned for that on August 1st. All right, everybody. So this episode drops on a Tuesday, July 18th. Uh, if you are listening to this past July 19th, uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, we are currently running a giveaway over on Instagram and, uh, we're giving away this $10 gift card to Dunkin Donuts. Okay. If you guys followed us on Instagram, you have seen this video for the giveaway and, uh, you know what this is all about, but this is a $10 gift card for Duncan, right? And you can do whatever you want with it. You can get donuts, you can get coffee, you can get a, a, a bacon, egg and cheese on a croissant. You can get an iced coffee, you can get donuts, you can get a crawler. You can, I don't care what you get, but for 10 bucks. Okay. Uh, you can enter to win still because this episode drops on Tuesday. Uh, you can still enter to win over on the official website. So head on over to the link provided down below and, uh, and enter for a chance to win. We only have one, we only have one card. So we're giving away to one special person. Uh, so go enter to win and give it a shot. The winner of the Duncan gift card will be announced Wednesday night, July 19th at 9 PM Eastern over on Facebook and YouTube. So, uh, check out the live show this week and, uh, maybe we'll call your name. Who knows? All right. Uh, other special news that's happening in the basement this week is that I recently applied to be a speaker over at Podfest. Okay. So Podfest is happening this year down in Orlando, Florida. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, uh, they, they were having an open call for speakers. So I was like, Hey, you know, I'll put my name in the ring and, uh, you know, so I'm waiting to hear back from them. You know, you guys who run it, you know who you are. Let me know. Cause I'm down. I'll make my way to Florida from, from the basement from Brooklyn. I'll make my way to Florida. And, uh, you know, so I'm super excited because I pitched to them that I would talk about resurrecting your show from the ashes, you know, bringing your show back and rebranding your show back from uh, the dead. And I I'm pretty sure I have a lot to say about that. I think that's about it, everybody. 
I really appreciate you guys hanging on this long and sticking with me on this solo episode. I mean, this was amazing. Let's uh, let's get some background music up in here. Okay, so you know, it's like I really appreciate you guys. I know you guys are huge fans of the surge, and you love what we're doing here, and you love what we're coming out with. Uh, keep on subscribing, keep on listening, keep on watching. And, uh, and I promise, you know, we're going to have some awesome, awesome content for you in the future. Uh, we got some big plans happening here in the basement, as you could probably tell. Okay. The basement takeover, the basement dads, the basement cigars, the basement gamers, the basement studio and the basement surge. <sighs> so much one person, maybe two, three, maybe four. Okay. No. Two people at least. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, next week on the Basement Surge, I'm sitting down with producer Jamie from the Cubby and Christine Morning Show. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what it's like producing for the radio and uh, what her obsession with Hanson's all about. So that should be fun. <laughs> I'm a, I might lead with that. <laughs> all right, everybody. I'll see you next week. Let's go. Turn up the volume. The volume. From the basement of the Empire State. This is the Basement Surge. Three.